Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. As most of you know, uh, I am a collector, uh, first and foremost. Um, but uh, the stacking aspect of it, it happens to be a, a nice little side benefit. Um, but this is the uh, continuation of a collection of coins that uh, is the, really the backbone of my collection. Uh, what I'm most proud of, although, unfortunately, there's two... Uh, problems with this. Let me unbox this and I'll kind of talk through it here. Uh, this is from the United States Mint, as you know, and from the title. And uh, it is a um, series that is is going in perpetuity, according to Congress. They do these programs every year, the Commemorative Coin Program. And so this is uh, another continuation of that series here. And so we are going to unbox this here and see what we've got inside. All right. There's one. Yep, that's right. You guessed it. If you didn't guess it, you're guessing it now. That's right. It's the Basketball Commemorative Coin Program. That's right. There they are. Basketball is my favorite sport. I love the way they dribble up and down the court like Moses Malone and all that other jazz. I don't know any more of the song. Little Curtis Blow there, but there they all are, three of them. And uh, so what it is is this is the uh, latest in the in the program from the United States Mint. And these were supposed to come out April 4th, and they came out June 4th instead. And uh, so there, there's what it is. So let's just get right into it and take a look what these look like. Take a peek at what these look like. They have different sleeves this year. Uh, is this is the second or third curved coin series. Uh, and this is the half dollar and very the highest premiums too by the way of any of the commemorative coins that have come out this year so there you have it here is the half dollar proof in uh, clad and you can see it says United States of America Pluribus Unum half dollar and then on this side we have the uh, design that shows three uh, figures going up for the ball. We have a male, a female, and a, and someone in a wheelchair going after the ball there. So there you have it. And now the half dollar does not have quite the curve appeal, the curve appeal that the other coins will have, as we'll see here. But the reason for that is because of the clad layering. It makes it very difficult without it separating those layers to um, curve that coin too much. So that is why that is the case. 2020 is the year of issue, liberty, and God we trust. So there that is. And I'm going to put the coin back in the opposite way because it's much easier to take out. And the other way. So let's set that aside. And then we are going to pull out the silver dollar. All right. Let's pull these over here. Now that's the gold. Let's pull the silver dollar out next. And take a look at it. There's a certificate of authenticity. And you can see there, there's the um, all the information on it. The specifications are on this side. And again, you'll see for the uh, second year, we have three nines fine silver. Very, very nice. Three nines fine silver right there it is. Uh, which usually they do four nine. I mean, usually they do... Um, Nine two nine nine hundred fine silver. I'm sorry, nine hundred fine silver, which is known as coin silver. But this time it's different. They're doing uh, three nines fine silver, and I'm glad they went to that. There's four hundred thousand mintage across all options for this. Well, there that is. All right, let's take a look at this coin. There it is. All right, now getting this out is going to be somewhat of a struggle. Somebody told me a trick to do it, but I never can figure out. It's always very difficult. These curved coins especially are very difficult, which means that you have to take it out from behind here and push it out like as such here. And that's what we're doing. Push it real good, as salt and pepper would once say. So there it is. Brilliant in silver. It is just spectacular looking in silver. Very, very nice. 
especially three nines fine silver. I think that's just absolutely spectacular. Very, very nice. United States of America, Pluribus Unum, $1. Then the other side, again, the broadest and the widest view of the figures. Although I will tell you, it's a, they look a little lanky, all of them, especially the, uh, the top figure here, reaching up. But nice detail on the hands. But they all kind of look a little bit weird on here. And uh, But I do like the idea of the net behind them, uh, for sure. But there it is, a continuation to get these coins. So we will put this back in its case for now and set that aside. Next and finally, we've got the gold $5. This thing was the budget buster of the coins. By the way, it's got a cool uh, pattern on the COA uh, for these things. Uh, it's really cool. It's got really neat texture there on the ball. And uh, this specifications for this is still 90% uh, gold, 6% silver, and the rest copper. Let's take a look at it and see what we've got here. Very good. Gold proof. This thing was a budget buster. The highest premiums I've ever paid for collector coins from the United States Mint. I like the kind of the multiple level of frosting there. And uh, very, very nice. And here again is the other side here. The gusted reverse and obverse with the 2020 W. This one from the West Point Mint. But very nice. Okay. Uh, now, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan. Here's what I would change on the design. I would make, <clears throat> just like the baseball coins, simplicity I think is better. The sport speaks for itself. Does not need any figures in here. I would take all the figures out and make this the top view down of the basketball rim, uh, net and uh, have the words outline the outside kind of like they are there now. Or, but just have just the net be there. I think that would uh, say you're looking at where the ball is going, and this is uh, the concave side, so it would make sense. And on the convex side, just have the ball, just make the ball the entire uh, outside of the coin, and put the words on the ball, just like 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 they did for the baseball coin. I thought the baseball commemorative coin program was extravagant, very well done, classy. And uh, it was definitely well done. They did it through a design contest. I don't know how this was done, but uh, I think that looks so much better. Um, this one, it seems like they were placating a bit, virtue signaling, political correctness, which I hate in coin design. And I sense it here uh, on this side. You know, they're putting in, they got to make sure they get a female in there, and they got to make sure they got they got a disabled person. And... Uh, you know, where's the Japanese uh, basketball player? And uh, where is the um, uh, the one-armed basketball player? That's what I want to know. You know they, they're, they're, they're leaving somebody out when they do that, and I hate that they do that. So let's see here. Let's see. There are the, all three of them together. Otherwise, it is what it is. But you can tell there's no excitement in this program at all. And... Uh, to be frank with you, I would not have purchased these if I didn't need them for my collection. I'm a completist, as John Hartley would say. Uh, and in order for me to keep the collection going and be complete, well, I've got to get them all. And so that's what this is about. It's about getting uh, all the ones for every year. Uh, I've thought about a good way to end this program and not continue it. Uh, maybe in 2022 that would be the case since it started. The program started in 1982. So I thought that maybe if I stop in, in 1982, that would be a good um, stopping point. Let me see here if I can find a way to put these up here. But I don't know. It's uh, So I'm not that excited about the program, you know, and about these coins. They're okay. Uh, really, the design, as far as the design element of this side... It's not bad, but uh, I'm just not a big fan of the, let's see here, political correctness. There. Let's see here. Right? I can't get these things to, could do this, stack them on top of each other. They do stack nice. Let me do it this way. Let's see.
Basketball. There it is. All the coins. So what do you think? Is this a program you're interested in? My guess is the vast majority of you are no. I've done videos on this before, and not very many people are interested in them. And, uh, but, hey, I figured I'd show it. Continuing the collection, documenting the journey to collect. Um, you know, spent a lot of money on these. Dang it. I hate that, but got to keep a collection going. And see, the thing is, is down the road, uh, you know, the... Um, you know, if I wait two years, I can probably find these things at a good price, but I don't want to wait two years. You know, I just want to go ahead and get it and have it in the collection just in case, and or some oddity. Maybe this, the gold, and some less few people will buy it that uh, it'll go up in value. I, I doubt it very seriously, but you never know. But there you have it the 2020 basketball commemorative coins. Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. And encourage you to please rate, share, maybe. And if you're at it, maybe you could comment, too. That'd be cool. And then maybe after that, you could subscribe. See ya.